Welcome to Escape the Indoors. My name is Josh. Today we are in Massachusetts. I think I was here a year ago today at this very spot, right before, or right when COVID started. But today I am here with my pup Kaya, who is anxiously waiting for me to throw this ball. She's a Boston, Kaya, say hi. <laughs> she's a Boston Terrier, so not the most outdoor type of dog, but she's kind of been doing great. Um, we did a 60 mile hike last weekend and she killed it on the AT and uh, this is perfect weather for her nice and cool and this is my buddy Brian back there I think you've seen him in some videos but uh, yeah we're just doing a chill night um, yeah just doing some camping so welcome Kai this is annoying what are you doing here so yeah last time I was here there was this beautiful sunset over these trees it's supposed to rain tonight and it's pretty cloudy so I don't think we're gonna get that Still beautiful, still really peaceful. Um, I am in a tent tonight. I'm in the uh, Z-Pax duplex. So I think I've used it only like two or three times. Hopefully it's not gonna leak on me because it's gonna be cold rain. It's like getting down to only 50, maybe 45 or something. But uh, Pup and I are gonna be right in that duplex over there. And hopefully we'll wake up to sunny weather and not rain and clouds. Kaya, sit. Stay.
north side. <laughs> Sixty-one percent of your sodium. So yeah, this is the Vargo Titanium. It's called Triad. That's got two sides, one for alcohol and then one for esbit. I don't know. It's definitely not as efficient as the fancy fee stove, which you can build yourself. This thing's like 40 bucks. So I don't know. I play with it sometimes because I have it, but I'm not sure I would actually recommend it. True story. What are we eating tonight? Teriyaki noodles. And I put way too much water in. Had I cooked it right, it would have been great. I think it's good though. If you pour bourbon in it, it becomes a cocktail. Oh. Kaya! Hey Kaya! Look at those cute little puppy eyes. Throw my ball. So as it's getting late, Kai also gets a uh, base layer and a jacket. Just like us. She'll be nice and toasty. And she's so small that she can just lay on my chest if she gets cold at night. But I bring her a Z-Lite that I cut down, which doubles that as a sit pad for both of us. Yeah, usually we're in the hammock, which works out really well because she just snuggles with me. But with all the air pad and the uh, tent floor, because it's a DCF tent, um, she's going to sleep next to me on this. And she should be warm enough, right? You should be warm enough. It's not too late. I until about 6 in the morning, so hopefully yeah. it's done by the time you wake up. We just have to deal with wet tarps. Well, you have a wet tent to deal with. Yeah, theoretically, having the continuous ribs on means you can move it easier. Mm -hmm. But the good thing about this is I can loosen one side, completely lower it, and retighten. Interesting. Uh, whereas with the continuous ridge line, especially on the one side that has the, the piece right against the tree, mm -hmm. it kind of you have to completely slacken the ridge line to move it. Whereas this is a little easier. A little more back and forth to get it centered, but... A lot faster. And so what's, what is the device? That's the Dutch Dinger. The only thing I think I'll miss is if I put my poles across the top, not having the, the ridge line to put them over. Right. Brand new uh, palace tarp from Hammock Gear. This thing's beautiful. How much more coverage? Like a foot more coverage, right? It's eight to 10 inches, I think. Or a foot here and probably more like six inches in the middle. That's beautiful. These and what are, are, what are to, these? I forget. They're uh, ripped up by the roller Alienware. Uh, I got them because um, I was hoping to find something a little simpler than having to like do the twist mm -hmm. over. And that is just a you wrap around. But I think these are a little simpler, but they don't sell a version that stays on the the loops. So for my center tie-outs, I have these right now. I forget what another Dutchware thing he just came out with. I forget what these ones are. It's got a thing so you can hold on to it and then pull. Oh, that's cool. Do wish they had a version that stayed in the shock cord. I like having shock cord even though this is dynamic because, you know, sometimes you trip over lines. All right, well, uh, sadly no sunset tonight, which kind of stinks, but we got a fire, pup's all warm. So, we're just going to chill out and, um, yeah, just hang out for the rest of the night. But, talk to you tomorrow morning. Or in the tent. Maybe. Not sure. If you're good. <laughs> no, I'm going with this. <laughs> no video for you! <laughs> Good
Good morning, everyone. Pop and I are just waking up. It's about 8 o'clock. Rain most of the night last night. Yeah, it looks like it's stopping. So, I'm gonna get out of this tent. I eat some breakfast and then I'm going. Thank you. 